Ni hao everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. Today we're going to be drawing one of China's greatest treasures as far as the animal kingdom goes, which is the panda bear. Pandas are very sweet and cute and I'm going to teach you how to draw them today. I'm going to be using my um, just regular B pencil and then I might be using um, my 4B to darken in some areas. So let's look at pandas. So we're going to have our panda kind of sitting um, looking at us. So I'm going to start off with this cute little head right here. Bring this down a little bit so you can see it. And again, I'm just drawing really loosely so I can get my shapes into there. All right, and then I'm going to put in his body, and he's sitting directly looking straight at us. So I'm going to put in his body kind of just swooping around. It's a nice larger circle area. And then his little feet, back feet, are coming out on either side, and his front feet are coming directly in front of him. So I'm just going to sketch those in. It's always good if you haven't drawn something a lot before or you're unsure of it, get some reference photos and check those out. It'll just help you to be able to put those all together. So I'm going to bring in his front legs kind of off the sh his shoulders here and down towards the front and into his little bit of paws. I'm going to bring his little bottom leg down just a little bit. All right and then his side belly right there. All right, and then at the top I'm going to put his cute little top ears. Just two little circles right up there. And then at the bottom of this circle, so here's his head circle. So right now he's just looking like a teddy bear. Um, right at this bottom circle I'm going to put in kind of a more of an ovalish um, circle down here and this is going to be for his snout. And I'm going to bring kind of a triangle shape down here for his nose. And then right up here I'm going to put in two kind of oval shapes that are pointing kind of at a diagonal. And those are for his eye patches. So I blocked everything in. I just sketched it in really quickly so that I can make sure I have everything in the right area before I move on to putting in some detail. So his head isn't a perfect circle shape. It's kind of almost a pear shape. It's a little bit more narrow at the top and as it comes down to his cheeks it kind of fluffs out a little bit and then down towards his muzzle. And I want his ears to kind of be sitting there. They're still cute and fluffy but I want them to kind of be attached so I'm not going to finish the circle. I'm just going to bring it down and attach it. Boom, boom, like that. Okay, and his front paws, I don't want them to be too skinny. Bring them down right to here. Okay, and then his little back paws, there's his belly, are going to come out. I'm going to bring him down just a little bit. They are so funny how they sit. I love watching pandas just kind of sit and chill out. His little toes, boop, 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 right at the very tips. Okay, so there he is sketched up. So I'm going to switch pencils. I'm going to switch to my 4B, which is a little bit darker. All right, before I do that, though, I'm going to take my gummy eraser, and I'm going to go back through and just clean up the lines that I know I don't need, which is a lot of them. I just, I want to leave kind of my base lines, kind of look like I'm going to erase everything. But sometimes when you clean up, you just want to kind of pick everything out a little bit, so I can still see the shape of my panda in there, but I've just got it kind of cleaned up a little bit. So now with my darker pencil, I can go back in here. And I'm going to add those jaggy lines to give a good indication of fur. And bring down to his little cheeks here. I'm going to give him some really nice jaggy lines around the cheeks and the top of his head right there. And I'm going to keep that nice kind of rounded triangle that I had shape here for his nose. And I'm going to make a little kind of a line on the top of it. And that's just going to be my shine line. So I'm going to darken in the underside nice and dark. And then I'm going to very lightly go over the top. And what that's going to do is going to give a little dimension to that nose. And I'm going to find where my patches go. And they're not completely round. They kind of almost kind of like a rounded diamond shape. Just like that. And then before I darken those in, I'm actually going to just put in two circles for his eyes so that I won't completely shadow those in. I'm going to darken in his eye patches. And 
Now he looks like creepy demon panda. I don't think pandas could look creepy. So I'm going to put in his um, pupils in there. You can kind of see his little face. And go ahead and darken in his ears. Just like that. And then put in his little bit of his muzzle right down here in his bottom lip. And just bring in the jaggy lines down there for his chin. Now you can add a little bit of shading if you want around his muzzle to kind of bring that muzzle out a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to bring in his shoulders. And again, I'm going to add just a little bit of a jaggy line to them. A little bit so they look like they got some fur on them. Right down to his paws, and I can go ahead and darken that in. His little paws, and a little bit right underneath his chin. He's got this little bit of a band of black that goes underneath his belly. Then his sides are white, so I'm going to have his little tummy kind of sticking out white. But when his back legs come out, they're going to be shaded. So I'm going to pull in his back legs. I'm going to shade those in. And then I'm going to draw his little paw sticking out here. And they almost have kind of a human-like footprint, but definitely distinctly bare. His little toes coming up at the top there, and I'll shade those in just a little bit. You can shade kind of in the center a little bit, a little distinction. Just like so. And I'm going to add a little bit of shading underneath him, kind of a gradiated shading. Add some definition to his little paws there. A little bit of shading around the face. And there we have our very cute panda. <laughs> He's so cute. So what I'm doing behind him is I'm going to draw out some just kind of um, vertical lines kind of coming up. They don't have to be totally up and down, um, but just kind of straight going up. And then I'm going to cut through them just a little bit every once in a while, make a little cut in them. This is going to be my bamboo. And you just bring some lines down from those. I don't want my panda to get hungry. And you just have kind of little outsprouts of bamboo leaves shooting out of them. Add some shading to those. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Our very cute little panda. Ground to sit on so he's not floating. Flying panda! Yeah. And you can just keep on adding detail and making just a cute little picture of your panda. Oh. I hope you enjoyed this really cute drawing of a panda. So if you enjoyed this cute little drawing of a panda, please check out some of my other videos. I have lots of videos on drawing all sorts of different kinds of animals and peoples and crafts and all that. So check those out. If you're not already a subscriber, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And if you do any drawings, I would love to see them. You can always post them to my Facebook page and the link is in the description box below. I look forward to drawing with you guys again in another video. So until then, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh I'm a panda. Panda, 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 panda. I'm a panda. Cute little panda. I eat bamboo and I'm a panda too. Boop.